Hello everyone, this is the Mining Geologist and I'm back again with another very exciting and very informative tutorial. And as you can see, we're looking at Micromine, the version 2022 to be exact, which is currently the latest version of Micromine. And like I've promised in my previous videos, uh, I'll do my best to make a video or videos about different tools in Micromine in the upcoming days and weeks so stay tuned for that and if you are new to this channel make sure to subscribe to get all the latest updates so in the previous video we've seen how to do road design effectively in Micromine using the tool road design now in this video we are going to take a look at the tool Waste Stamp Modeler that allows you to create automated waste stamp designs. I know that most of you are actually into pit design probably and geological modeling and I know that most of the miners they only care about the commodity or the thing that they want to extract from the subsurface whether it is gold or copper or whatever it is and they only care about uh, selling that probably and don't forget don't forget that if you're going to extract let's say a uh, thousand tons of uh, gold let's say and don't forget that you are going to extract 10 times or 20 times more waste materials and if you do not care where you are actually going to store these or the criteria that you're going to use for the design then trust me you will be stuck and you're going to lose more money other than making money from that precious let's say uh, uh, metal that you want to sell so so what I want to say is waste stamps are also really important in the mine planning process so we need to pay attention to these uh, you know uh, structures and uh, one of the problems that we face with waste stamps is let's say that we have an area of interest and basically we want to store the waste stamps or want to design some waste stamps in this area but we don't know is is that going to be enough to uh, let's say um, to hold all the different waste stamp materials that we are going to extract from the pit or not based on the design criteria that we are going to use and most of the time these design criteria are based on some uh, slow stability analysis and some geotechnical parameters so they're not like that, hey, let's go and do waste stamp design with 10 meters, let's say, uh, bench height and so on. So you need to do some analysis for that. And if you guys are interested in uh, some waste stamp related, you know, uh, tutorials, let me know in the comments below. And I will do my best to show you how or what is the effective way to do these kind of things like, uh, I don't know, like water management and things like these. So without further ado, let's take a look at how to solve this specific problem using Micromine. Now let's go back to the normal view like this one. Uh, it was in perspective view. So what we need for this is basically a string for uh, the area of interest and it needs to be draped onto the topography and for that we need also the topography DDM for that location of interest. Then we head over to the uh, mining menu and we choose the waste stamp modeler. Okay, so in the input, basically we need to choose or tell the software whether we are having we are having a uh, toe string and uh, or a toe boundary. So we are going to start from the bottom, going all the way up, or we have like a crest string that we are going to use and see what is the final toe boundary based on that and some design criteria. So in our case we are going to start from the bottom uh, going all the way up based on the criteria that we have. So we are going to specify the uh, initial toe boundary which is the string that we've digitized this one and it needs to be sitting 
on the topography so we need to drop that onto the topography don't forget to do that then we are going to use the topography here which is this DDM it's called topography NVG topo in our case then we are going to um, use our design criteria. in our case we are going to have a slope angle of 35 degrees so this is not keep that in mind this is not the overall slope angle this is basically the uh, bench you know uh, angle so uh, in, you need to do your own calculations to uh, or based on these parameters to get the overall angle if you're interested in that and for the berms, we can either check this or uncheck it. If you want berms, we are uh, going to use a lift height of 10 meters and a berm width of 5. Now, here are the most important things to design the damp automatically. So, either we are interested, or I don't know, let's say that there's an electricity line sitting at the elevation of, let's say, 1,670, and you want to stay, you know, below that 10 meters to give all the different equipments, you know, uh, enough space to work. And this is the maximum elevation that we can go to. So you can specify a maximum elevation. Or this could be probably, uh, you know, it was constrained by some geotechnical parameters. So let's say if we go above this one, uh, if we go uh, more than this uh, elevation, the waste stamp is not going to be stable so these are things that might limit the elevation that we can uh, use or maybe you have a target volume so you've designed your pit and you know how much waste uh, materials you have in that pit so you can specify this one and you tell the software can I fit this specific volume inside that specific area and at what elevation so what is the maximum elevation I'm going to reach using this uh, specific volume? And this is really, you know, uh, this is really important and this is uh, a, a really a good tool. You know why? Because you don't have to go and design a detailed uh, way stamp in order to know these answers. So what is the maximum elevation or is this area is going to be enough to hold all the waste materials that we have? So the waste stamp modeler is actually going to give you the answer to that quickly before you actually jump into some detailed uh, waste stamps with some ramps and all of that stuff. So then the output is going to be basically a wireframe of that uh, damp and you can also get the contours and generate a report you can also include some uh, swell and compaction and density like we've done with the roads and you get them in the report so you get all the different volumes and so on so another thing is you can go and generate the contours these are basically the uh, toe and crest uh, strings for the automated design and you can either clip that by the topography by the DDM or uh, choose not to do so and let me give you like a, a small hack here and a small hint is don't clip that by the topography because what we can do later on if you want to uh, decide to go on with this uh, design we can copy one of the strings of the automated design and probably refine that a little bit and then copy that to a detailed uh, pit design uh, you know uh, file and start designing from that one so we will get the exact or almost the exact shape of the automated design so we don't go outside this uh, area of interest so all we have to do later on is to click on run and the software is going to do all its calculations and give us this automated waste stamp design uh, and how quick it is it will actually depends on the complexity of the topography again and the complexity of the uh, toe uh, string that you've digitized and I don't I'm I don't want to waste your time so here is the final result it's gonna be this you know uh, waste damp and if I click on this one let me go back to uh, uh, Visex and choose the selection tool and if I click on this one you can see that we have a volume in here so uh, you, we can also hover here 
and you can see that the elevation is a thousand six hundred and sixty so in my case I've chosen a maximum elevation for the waist stamp and now I can just know that for this elevation I have this volume to be uh, stored in that waist stamp and I will check with the different volumes that I get from the fit design to see if that's actually going to be enough or not and if it's not enough all you have to do is to adjust this area a little bit and do the calculation again and if I'm really happy with that then you can see here uh, here are the contours that I have this is basically the final crest what I can do is I can select this one and start a new pit design and make that as the active layer um, and then what I would do is I go to uh, design and go to cop copy act uh, to active layer so I'll get this one to my active layer and then start with a detailed design maybe I'll add a ramp in here and so on so basically this is how uh, easy it is to use the uh, waste stamp modeler tool inside Micromine and how it can uh, help you to you know get an answers to some of the these questions like what is the maximum elevation I can reach what is the volume that this area can hold without actually diving into some detailed damps and then to find out in the end that the area was not enough for you and that's why I really like this tool so I hope this video was informative and uh, please subscribe like this video and see you in another video.